all right you are welcome again today we are talking about how to solve ordinary differential equation without wasting much time let's take a look at this question solve the differential equation using separation of variables number one one minus x in bracket divide the x plus 1 minus y in bracket equal to 0. Then number 2, 1 plus x cubed in bracket dy dx is equal to x squared y. All right? Good. These are the two questions we are going to treat in this video. Please, I want you to pay attention. And if you are new to our YouTube channel, please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe like and share our videos all right let's go number one we have one minus x in bracket dy dx plus one minus y in bracket equal to zero this is a differential equation and we are asked to solve this specifically using the method of separation of variables now and we have discussed this method previously in our videos Please, if you have not watched that, please, I want you to check in our YouTube and watch it again. All right. And then we see that in this separation of variables, we want to separate these terms y to be in the left hand side and x to be in the right hand side. So when we are able to separate this, we can go further and integrate both sides with respect to y in the left and with respect to x in the right all right now let's go uh from here as we have this equation uh the first thing we are going to do is to separate these variables all right now let's go to separate these variables uh we want to make the term or the function y to be by the left so let's take this one minus y which is in bracket to the right hand side okay now if you take it to the right hand side y going crossing the sign of inequality it will change to negative okay so here we are going to have one minus x in bracket dy dx is equal to we have minus in bracket one minus y so let's use this minus to open this bracket if you open this bracket you see that we're going to have minus one and positive y so if we have minus one plus positive y we are going to have we are going to have minus one and positive y or minus one plus y so let's put it in bracket y coming first we are going to have y minus one you get it right so here after taking the term one minus y to the right hand side we have 1 minus x dy dx equal to y minus 1 all right good so the next thing we are going to do here is to multiply both sides by dx so we multiply the left hand side by dx multiply the right hand side by dx we want it to be linear okay so when we do so uh this dx in the left hand side we cancel the dx in the denominator so after the cancellation we are going to have one minus x dy equal to y minus one dx okay good from this place if you look at the left hand side we have one minus x dy and we only want y to be in this side so that means we are going to remove 1 minus x. And for us to remove 1 minus x in the left hand side, we are going to divide both sides by this 1 minus x. You get it right? Good. And then going to the right hand side, we have y minus 1 dx. And we only want x to be in the right hand side. So that means we are going to divide both sides also by y minus 1 so if we are to do it together that means we are going to divide both sides by 
1 minus x in bracket y minus 1 in bracket so we divide both sides by 1 minus x to remove this 1 minus x in the left hand side and also we divide both sides by y minus 1 to remove the y minus 1 in the right hand side is that clear now let's go when we do it we are going to have 1 minus x dy all over 1 minus x in bracket y minus 1 in bracket equal to in the right hand side we have y minus 1 in bracket dx all over 1 minus x in bracket y minus 1 in bracket all right good in the left hand side 1 minus x in the numerator we cancel 1 minus x in the denominator y in the right hand side y minus 1 in the numerator we cancel y minus 1 in the denominator so after this cancellation we are going to be left with 1 all over y minus 1 dy equal to 1 all over 1 minus x dx is that true so we have succeeded in separating the variables y in the left hand side and x in the right hand side so the next thing we are going to do is to integrate both sides with respect to y and with respect to x so in the left hand side we're going to integrate with respect to y and in the right hand side with respect to x so let's go we're going to have the integral of 1 all over y minus 1 dy equal to the integral of 1 all over 1 minus x dx that means we're integrating the left hand side with respect to y the right hand side with respect to x so when we integrate 1 all over y minus 1 with respect to y we're going to have lean y minus 1 and in the right hand side when we integrate 1 all over 1 minus x dx we're going to have minus lean 1 minus x in bracket plus c that is the constant okay good so this is what we have after integration and we want to have our solution in the form of y being the subject so from this place the next thing we are going to do is to take the natural log of both sides so that we will have y standing alone so taking the natural log we are going to have exponential lean y minus 1 equal to in the right hand side exponential minus lean open bracket 1 minus x plus c so this is what it means by taking the natural log all right good now in the law of log reading we say that when you have exponential lean x the answer is going to give you what x so this exponential and this lean we cancel out right good so in this place we have exponential lean y minus 1 so our answer is going to give us y minus 1 equal to in the right hand side we have exponential minus lean 1 minus x so you know we have plus here in the law of log reading that is to say this uh, plus c is going to take its own exponent okay so that means we're going to have times exponential c okay good now in the right hand side we have exponential minus lean double bracket one minus x so you know this minus here is the same thing as saying one all over exponential lean one minus x then we still have times exponential c right good from this place uh we've seen that from the law when you have exponential lean x it's going to give you x so in the denominator in the right hand side where we have one all over exponential lean one minus x so this exponential and this lean we cancel out right good so we're going to be left with one all over one minus x then we have multiplied by exponential c here we have y minus 1 is equal to 
1 all over 1 minus x multiplied by exponential c. Okay? Good. From this place, let's take 1. This minus 1 in the left-hand side to the right-hand side. You remember, we want to make y the subject. Okay? So, taking this minus 1 to the right-hand side, it will change to positive. So, we're going to have y is equal to 1 plus 1 all over 1 minus x times exponential c. And then, in a lot of indices, when we have 1 all over 1 minus x, is the same thing as saying 1 minus x in bracket raised to power minus 1. Raised to power what? Minus 1. It's still the same thing, right? Good. So that means we're going to have y is equal to 1 plus 1 minus x in bracket raised to power minus 1. Then we still have times exponential c. So in this place, we're going to say let a be equal to exponential c. Let's call this exponential c a name. Let's call it a letter. Let's use letter A. So here we say let A equal to exponential C. So in the place of exponential C, we replace it with A. Now let's go. That means we're going to have Y is equal to 1 plus 1 minus X in bracket raised to power minus 1 times A. All right? Good. Let's arrange it very well. So when we arrange it very well, we're going to have that Y is equal to 1 plus A open bracket 1 minus x in bracket raised to power minus 1 so therefore this is the solution to the differential equation 1 minus x in bracket dy dx plus 1 minus y equal to 0 so the answer is y is equal to 1 plus a open bracket 1 minus x in bracket raised to power minus 1 all right yes now let's take a look at number two okay let's solve number two so number two we have uh, one plus s cube in bracket dy dx is equal to x squared y okay so here let's separate these variables all right so for us to separate these variables let's make it to be linear first so by multiplying both sides by dx, okay? So when we multiply both sides by dx, it's going to be reduced to 1 plus s cube in bracket dy equal to x squared y dx. Okay, is that true? Yes. Now, we have 1 plus s cube in bracket dy equal to x squared y dx. And we want to separate these variables in such a way that y will be by the left and x will be by the right. Okay? Good. In this place here, we have 1 plus s cubed dy. We want to remove 1 plus s cubed. So for us to remove this 1 plus s cubed, we are going to divide both sides by this 1 plus s cubed. And then going to the right hand side, we want to remove y because we only want to have x in the right hand side. So we don't want y. So since we don't want y, that means we're going to divide both sides by y. So let's do it together. Okay? So doing it together, that means we're going to divide both sides by 1 plus s cubed times y. Okay, so let's go. Let's do it. That means we're going to have 1 plus s cubed in bracket dy all over or divided by these two things that we want to remove from the left hand side and the right hand side, which is 1 plus s cubed times y. And then equal to the right hand side, we have x squared y dx all over 1 plus s cubed y. So in the left hand side, 1 plus s cube we cancel 1 plus x cube. And in the right hand side, y we cancel y. So after cancellation, we are going to be left with 1 all over y dy equal to in the right hand side 
x squared all over 1 plus x cubed dx. Okay? Good. So, we have succeeded in separating these variables. Y in the left and x in the right. So, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to integrate both sides with respect to y and with respect to x. So, let's go. We are going to have the integral of 1 all over y dy equal to the integral of x squared all over 1 plus x cubed dx. Okay? Good. When we integrate 1 all over y with respect to y, it's going to give us a lane y. And in the right hand side, when we integrate x squared all over 1 plus x cubed with respect to x, it's going to give us 1 all over 3 lane 1 plus x cubed plus c. All right? Please, we have talked about uh, integration. We have talked so much about integration using several variables. Please, if you want to still learn more on this, please check our playlist and then you see integration. We have done something like this before, okay? I assume you understand this. So when we integrate the left-hand side and the right-hand side, we have lean y equal to 1 all over 3, lean 1 plus x cubed in bracket plus c, okay? So here we want to make y the subject. So we take the natural log on both sides. So we are going to have the exponential lean y is equal to exponential 1 all over 3 lean 1 plus x cube in bracket plus c. Okay? And then you know that when we have something like exponential lean x, the answer is going to give us x. So exponential we cancel lean. Alright? Good. So in this place we have exponential lean y. Exponential we cancel lean. We're going to have y is equal to, in the right hand side, we have exponential 1 all over 3 lean 1 plus x cubed in bracket plus c. All right? Yes. Now, from this place, it's the same thing as saying y is equal to exponential 1 all over 3 lean 1 plus x cubed times exponential c you get it right so we say let exponential c be called the letter a e. so here we're going to have y is equal to exponential 1 all over 3 lean 1 plus x cube you get it times a now let's put this in front or write it arrange it very well in our arrangement we're going to have y is equal to a exponential 1 all over 3 lane 1 plus x cube all right yeah finally the solution to the differential equation 1 plus x cube in bracket dy dx is equal to x squared y the solution to this equation is y is equal to a exponential 1 all over 3 lane 1 plus x cube all right yes Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed, please do like and share our videos. Thank you. See you some other time.